Hello, my name is Charles Peter, a real estate and financial consultant based in Nairobi, Kenya, in the continent of Africa. For the last 12 years, I have been helping young people across Kenya, especially in high schools and colleges, through mentorship, uh, enabling them to be able to believe in themselves and in their ability to bring the best that is possible in life. Some of the key lessons that I have learned as I have been going through life, I started life in a very painful way. I had a very humble background and a very painful childhood. Some of the childhood experiences that I went through were not so easy. And I had every reason to believe that I was born to be a failure in life. But one of the reasons I purposed ever since I was young is that I have to believe in myself. I have realized that in life, Unless you are able to believe in your potential, in your capability, in your uniqueness, nobody else will. You are living life once, and if at all there is going to be any person who will celebrate the hero that you are, it has to be you. Lesson number one, believe in yourself. The other lesson that I have learned as I have gone through life is that life is a fair employer. He will give you what you bargain out of it. Life will give you what you ask of it. And so you must be resolute. You must purpose never to give up. You must set a standard for yourself and a standard that is high. If you set a standard that is high in life, that is what life will give you. It's a very fair bargainer. So you must make sure that you settle not for anything but the best for yourself in life. Life will give you what you ask of it. The other lesson that I have learned, even as I have gone through life, is that the past has nothing in determining what your future would be. I have realized that in life, behind every successful story, there is always a painful past. And many of us, many times, be labor in our past mistakes and some of the things that happened to us when we were children, and we forget that we have a future that is waiting for us. Today is the first day of the last of your life. Forget the pains of yesterday. Forget the mistakes of yesterday. You can start a new leaf in your life today and you have every reason and you have every potential to make your life beautiful and to make your future much more glorious than the painful past that you share about. The other reason I have realized and I have learned in life, that's a lesson, is that the odds have always been against you. You know something? Scientists tell us that when you were born, there were over 6 million sperms that were chasing one egg. And you know something? You emerge the winner. Can you imagine you against 6 million? What does that tell us? That from the word go, until since conception, the odds have been against you. And that means that God has created you so that you can be able to succeed and to make it when situation seems to be most difficult and most tough for you. It is when you're going through fire that you need to be so sure of one thing, that you are bound to make it. Because since the word go, the odds have been against you. The other thing that I have realized in life, lesson number five, is that mistakes are not meant to stop you. They are meant to propel you ahead. Do not cry because of spilled milk. It is true that you did that mistake yesterday. It is true that you went through that separation yesterday. You lost that business yesterday. But it is only meant to empower your resolve that you will do best tomorrow. The only mistake in life is when you don't learn from your mistakes. You do a mistake today, you must purpose that you have every possibility and every potential to make tomorrow better. Learn from your mistakes Learn from some of the foolish things that you do because it will just act to make you much more wiser tomorrow. Do not regret mistakes. Do not put them behind you. Move through life strong and strive forward to lay hold of that which life has for you. So until next time, this is Charles Peter with the lessons of life. Thank you.